There is nothing worse than listening to an informative video, a very well produced video with awesome presentations and graphics, but the sound quality ends up with a humming or hissing noise in the background. We call this background noise. This is a quick tip to fix these audio issues that you may have before you start recording and I'll also show you how to fix the problems after you've recorded your video. Before you start recording, tune into your environment. Listen out for sounds that can potentially disrupt your audio recording, such as a fan or a extractor, air conditioning or any unwanted background noise from outside. By doing this first process, you can quickly identify these issues and then begin working around the issue of resolving them. Unfortunately, some issues are just plain impossible to remove, but I'm going to give you some tips on how to best go about fixing this. Tip number one, put yourself in the room furthest away from where the noise is coming from. This particularly comes in handy when the noise is outside or you have equipment which you can't turn off, for example. Tip number two, turn off any fans or air conditioning. I know this may be difficult to endure for the period of time when you're recording, but it'll be worth it for your viewers in the long run. Tip number three, record when you are alone and you are not expecting visitors such as the postman. Tip number four, close all of your windows where the sound may be leaking through from outside. So those are four quick tips which you should consider before you start recording. Let's say you have a video where you've already recorded your session and you want to fix some of these audio issues such as humming or hissing that you hear in the background. To do this, we're going to head on over into Windows, open up Camtasia and load our project file. So over in Windows, we have Camtasia opened with our project file. The first step I make when editing audio is to split the audio track from the video. You can do this by selecting your video track right clicking and selecting separate audio and video. This moves the audio track onto a separate track away from your video. We can then go to audio effects and select noise removal. Drag and drop this onto your audio track. We now have the noise removal properties on the right hand side. The first thing we want to do is click the analyze button. Fortunate for us, this has analyzed very quickly, but this may take some time depending on how long your audio track is or on the speed of your computer. By default, this will apply the preset sensitivity and amount settings to the noise removal tool on your audio clip. The sensitivity slider controls how sensitive the noise removal tool is going to be in removing your audio. The amount slider selects how much or defines how much noise will actually be removed from your audio clip. It's important to note not to go too extreme with these values as you can deteriorate your actual audio quality more so than if you had the noise there in the first place. Next time you're trying to fix background noise in your video, have a play with these sliders and listen to your audio recording back until you find the right setting. Just remember that every audio recording is going to be different so there is no true correct setting to use. It's all personal preference and you have to use your ears to be able to make the adjustments correctly. So I hope you can use these background audio tips in your next recording and I'll see you again in another video.